right now I'm uh, getting the child inside of me out. <laughs> Never let the child that is present inside you to die. Always keep it alive. So this video is about getting cinematic shots from the drone that you have. Welcome back to the channel. This is Ali from AWP Exotica bringing you another video to enjoy. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe, do leave a like. Turn on those bell notification icons if you haven't done already. Let's get you straight in the video. I'm going to give you some cinematic tips how to fly the drone and get the shots out of the drone. Now people these days purchase uh, drones like the DJI Mini 2 or Mavic Air 2 or whatever drone uh, that you guys prefer to purchase for yourself and what happens is that they don't know how to get cinematic uh, shots out of the drones. They just, uh, you know, plug in the controller, get the drone in the air and try to take shots and they don't know the exact process behind getting excellent shots for your YouTube videos. So here I'm going to talk about them. So coming over to uh, the first tip or the first method that I have for you guys over here and that is to get to know your drone. Get to know this piece of equipment as much as you can. Uh, get to know the physical functions, the different features that the drone is offering. Master the remote controller, the way that it responds to, to the joystick, the way it responds to your touch. Master the application that is available for you to fly this drone. For example, with this uh, Mini 2, the app that comes with it is the uh, DJI Fly app. I have played with it quite a a lot I have practiced a lot so that's gonna you know really bring that creativeness out till the time you don't know your drone <laughs> you won't be able to fly it so get to know your drone get to know the functions get to know the basics first right another point uh, of concern over here is that people uh, tend to think that drone flying is an easy job and anybody out there can do it. Well, it's not the case, trust me. Uh, you got to take your drone and practice as much as you can. Practice, practice and practice. Practice makes a man perfect. So fly as much as you can. Take time out of your busy routine or whatever routine that you have. Take your drone out to an open place where it's safe to fly and practice basic shots. Practice basic drone flying skills first so that you get that control over your drone and over the remote control over the, with which you are trying to fly the drone. That is really going to help to develop that skill further and to enhance your drone flying skills. So practice a lot, practice a lot guys, practice a lot. Another point of concern for beginner uh, drone owners is that they go very harsh on the control sticks. They just want the drone to go fast. The faster you go, the less cinematic your shots are going to look. The slower and the smoother you, uh, you make use of the joysticks available on the controller, the better your shots are going to look. So go slow and go easy on the control sticks. Some people prefer to pinch the joysticks and some people prefer to use their thumbs. Whatever method you are using, go slow and go easy on the controls to get that more cinematic and professional feel from the shot that you are trying to take. That's going to do wonders uh, for the shots that you're trying to take. Go slow on the controls, guys. Now to get cinematics out of a shot, what you need to do is you need to bring out the pluses of the scene that you're trying to capture. While looking from a person's point of view or POV, you cannot see the symmetry or the patterns that are available once it is seen from drones, uh, from a bird's eye view. So get your drone up there, look for different patterns. Now patterns create and generate interest uh, for the viewer to watch and stick to the shot that you're trying to present. Geometric patterns, man-made patterns, natural patterns of fields. There are a lot of patterns that you can, uh, you know, incorporate into the drone shots that you're trying to create over here. Look out for patterns, look out for geometric patterns and add them in to your shots to give them a better looking feel and a cinematic feel to the uh, to the video. Look out for patterns. Another point of interest is to take advantage of the light available. Try to shoot in uh, the different hours of the day that are available to you while you're shooting a subject or shooting a scene from the drone. Try to take advantage of the golden hour, the beautiful golden sun rays that come with it and the shadows that it creates. Uh, try to shoot at twilight if you have a drone with a better camera sensor. That's going to add a lot of production value to the shots that you're trying to take. The blue R, you know, also gives uh, quite a nice cinematic feel to the drone shots that you're trying to capture. So take advantage of the natural light that is available in the scene or the environment in which you're trying to shoot. Uh, those different light scenes are going to add interest and are going to add that dynamic feel, cinematic feel to the shots that you're trying to take. So take this point into consideration. Pray Play, play around with the light or the natural light that's available around you. Another cinematic tip for you guys 
is to look out for symmetry. Now, we humans and our brains are hardwired to appreciate symmetry. Keeping things symmetry, keeping things in a straight line, looking out for the frame to be properly placed, looking out for the video to be properly placed inside the frame. That's what symmetry is. Symmetry can be looked around in man-made objects as well as nature. So look out for symmetry. Symmetry is going to give your shots an added professional look and feel for the viewer to enjoy. Look out for symmetry and do include it in your shots, guys. Guys, there is a general concept that once you talk about a drone, it's all about taking shots from a very high altitude. Well, it's not the case. Taking shots from a higher altitude do give that interesting perspective because a normal camera cannot do that. But using your drone to push in through the shot at a lower angle is going to really increase the value of the shot that you have and give that cinematic and beautiful feel to the, to the shot that you're trying to take. Going low, focusing on a subject, following a subject, uh, using a lower angle on the drone, perhaps you're on a riverside or a stream and you're going low and that water is splashing across and the drone is flying at a lower angle, that's gonna you know, really increase the production value of the work that you're trying to present uh, in whatever capacity that you're trying to shoot. Be on the low out where you can incorporate uh, lower angles in which you can take your drone take your drone low to the ground instead of being high so experiment with these shots all of these this experimentation and this this variation is going to give your shots drone shots beautiful and professional look guys another aspect of drone flying that a lot of people miss out are the reveal shots they fail to properly reveal the subject or the scene that they are trying to show the focus on the reveal shots that's going to uh, you know set the stage for your upcoming shots reveal the scene properly you can do that by pushing in the drone and gently tilting the gimbal camera up or by any means that you find uh, you know interesting to reveal the scene that's in front of you the, the reveal shot basically introduces the scene to the viewer and uh, he then gets the idea he or she gets the idea of what's coming up in the next video so the reveal shot is the first impression of the drone video that you're trying to make so first First impression is the last impression guys so if your first impression is good the viewer is going to stick there and watch the video till the end so reveal your subjects and reveal your scenes properly guys all right guys that was it for uh from my side today this is ali from aw exotica now, on this channel over here we talk about filmmaking we talk about photography we talk about uh, tech gear reviews and a lot of other stuff i travel and uh, i try to bring you interesting blogs from around the country where i live in hope you enjoyed this video i'll be coming up with a lot of other content and bringing you on this channel for you guys to enjoy i'll be signing off now hope you enjoyed this video see you in another video really really soon bye bye